this is Scott, and this is Jeff, and we're doing... These are chickens. Beer can chicken. We already got two of them on the throne. We're going to get another two on the throne. You guys can watch if you like. Scott, we're going to move these out of the way real fast. Let's get another one of these over. Just give your audience. Okay, now I'm going to step out of screen real fast. It's our own cooking show. Cut the public bag off. <laughs> Got the other two chickens with a little Wild Willie's rub. <clears throat> we're gonna throw them right now. Yeah, we're gonna what? We're gonna rinse this out and reuse it. It's called the Green Earth, so recycle. You never know that Al Gore. He might be right. I doubt it, but he might be. That one looks great. So Scott's gonna hold the throne for me. I'm gonna open up the rear end of the chicken. I'm gonna flip it around, stick it right on the beer can. In this case. Our beer can is a pop can. Voila, chicken on a throne. Beer can chicken. We're gonna do the next one. Look at this bad boy, by the way. Is that a chicken or is that a chicken? Scott's sticking some bacon in there. You don't have to be so quiet, Scott. Uh -oh. <laughs> Get the camera shut. <laughs> Get the next, next can ready. Open That's up. right, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll be out. <laughs> Get some flannel. Get some flannel. <laughs> now, Scott's going to go ahead and show us what those chickens look like in the grill. Go ahead, Scott. What do they look like up there? Yeah, let me see if I can't... Mm, mm, mm. Let me see if I can't zoom in. Oh, yeah. Standing at attention on a beautiful 4th of July holiday. That's that's what beer chickens, beer can chickens, all about. Let me tell you, as I walk into the frame, the best thing about beer can chicken, in all reality, is once you get all the prep work done, you get them on the grill, you shut the grill, and you share a beer with your friend. Happy. Okay, so here we are, with our beer can chicken. I think they're ready to come off the grill. How do you feel? So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to carve this bad boy chicken thing here. Again, I have sensitive hands. I use an electric knife and figure why, why work at it. Technology. That leg, all you have to do is kind of slowly get that skin going. Mm. And it'll come right off. Mm. One leg off. That's no, a circle actually, walking chicken there. A lot of people don't know this, but I used to, I'm a butcher's son, so I know how to do all this cut and stuff. Nobody could reach her like the son of a butcher's <laughs> That chicken ain't got nothing left but flying now. Second. I always take the wings off next. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why, because that's how we cut chickens at the B&B supermarket in Des Moines, Iowa. I'll take this chicken off, this one off first. Done there, I just slowly just take chunks of the uh, take those off first, and I take chunks of the breast off. Look at that. That is juice filled. Look at that. Then you better try a piece. Yeah, watch this. Here, let me try this one. How was it? What do we have here? What do we have? What's under here? Oh my gosh, some beer can chicken. That's the dark meat. That's the white meat. Oh. Let's see, I'm going to go past Kim real fast. Got some corn. Oh. Some more corn, some asparagus. Hey Scott. Right. Well, how's the beer can chicken? Very good, very good. <laughs>
Happy 4th of July, brother. Can't talk in my mouth, folks.